the normal distribution calculating intervals. Student heights in a sixth form college are normally distributed with mean 170 centimetres and a standard deviation of 10 centimetres. So we can represent this as a normal distribution with a mean of 170, that's the population mean, and the population variance will be 10 squared or 100. Uh, we're looking for the limits within which 95% of all student heights lie. Okay, first of all we need a, uh, a formula that we're going to use for this and the formula is x is equal to population mean plus or minus z times the population standard deviation Okay, so we need to know all of these these values here. Well, the mean we already know it's 170, so we've got x is equal to 170 plus or minus z. That's something that we need to work out using the um, normal distribution. So if we start with a, a sketch of the normal distribution. and along here we have the standard normal variable z zeros in the center we're looking for the central 95 percent that means the 95 percent goes here which means there's two and a half percent in each of these tails. Okay, now we need a z value here. And the z value here can be worked out by looking up the cumulative probability to the left of this line, which is 95 plus 2.5. Okay, so if you look up p is equal to 0 0.975. 5, that's 97.5 percent from the normal tables. Okay, so let's go to the formula book, and we've got the normal distribution tables here, page 25, table 4, here. The probability we're looking up at is 0 0.97 five and the five that goes here is there the third decimal place okay, you've got two decimal places here the third decimal place is the five and that gives you this value here and that's a z value okay, you've got probabilities along here in the table and inside you have z values 1.96 So I know the z value here is 1.96 and by symmetry this one here will be minus 1.96. Positive values on this side, negative values on this side. Okay, so my calculation is x is equal to the population mean, which is 170 from here, plus or minus z that's the 1.96 and now you can see why there's a plus and a minus here because you have a positive z value and a negative z value that plus and minus is this okay so plus and minus z times the standard deviation which is 10 there okay so let's go to the calculator do the lower limit first so do the minus first 170 minus 1.96 times 10. So 150.4, 150.4 centimeters, 2. And now we need the plus. So just replay the previous calculation, changing that minus there to delete it. 
put a plus there the rest of it stays the same and that gives you 189.6 to 189.6 centimeters okay so for this particular population 95 percent of heights of students will lie between 154 point 150.4 centimeters to 189.6 centimeters so for this population which has a population mean of 170 centimeters and a standard deviation of 10 centimeters 95 percent of all heights of students will lie in the interval 150.4 centimeters to 189.6 centimeters so to do this calculation the key thing is that you know this formula and you need to memorize it have a look at the video that covers all of the normal distribution formulae that you need to memorize and you will see this as one of the formulae in that list